Hey there guys, Edelios45 here, and just a couple hours ago I went, I was at Staples and I picked up a Chromecast uh, made by Google. Um, it's made to transmit a uh, video signal from a laptop, smartphone, tablet to a uh, HDTV. Now, um, I'm do a little bit of an unboxing here, then a setup, and then kind of what I think about it. Um, some things that you will need, uh, it says on the side here, if you see that, um, but... You will need a TV with an HDMI uh, input on it. You'll need a wire. You will need wireless internet, and you'll need an Android phone, an Android tablet, or um, a laptop to use Google Chrome on. Um, now, I do like the boxing of it. It's it's small. It's compact. Uh, I got I picked this up at Staples for thirty five dollars. There was a couple of them there. I heard they're selling actually pretty well. So if you see one and you want to get it, go ahead and just pick it up. It's pretty cheap as far as I'm concerned. Uh, now you can get them at Staples, Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon. Uh, I would imagine New Egg. I didn't take a look at there, but you can get them all over the place. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and tear this thing, go into this thing, tear it open a little bit here. Get this thing, get the sticker off here. Holding this thing on. All right. Here's the packaging. Has this little sleeve on it. Uh, you can, on the back it shows kind of a how it's supposed to work and stuff. You can use Chrome, YouTube, Netflix, or your Google Drive account, like with music and stuff. Um, but all right, pretty simple packaging. Little uh, fold open box here with the actual Google, the Chrome. Uh, Dongle, I guess you could call it. It's like a wireless dongle. It's right there. HDMI. Got, got a little uh, some tape on here. I'll pull that off. There you go. The it's got a little power adapt uh, power uh, input there for the adapter. You know you can use this right here. It goes into a USB. If you plug it into your TV, you can power it through there, or you can just run it to the AC adapter in case your TV doesn't have a USB port. Now, it also comes with, I believe this right here, let's go ahead and tear this thing open here. These are teeth here. There we go. This right here. Now, I believe this plugs in right here, and it's meant to be a wireless extender if your wireless internet isn't too great. I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you just plug this in. Then you just plug this into your HDMI. All right. So that's pretty much everything in, in the uh, packaging here. Uh, it just came with a little product information and manual. Now I'll go ahead and hook this up, show you how it, how it works, and be right back. All right, now the installation of the uh, Google Chromecast is it's really self-explanatory. Now, I did take a quick read through the uh, incredibly tiny manual, and what this thing is actually technically for is a uh, um, this extender that can be used if your Chromecast does not fit directly into your TV. It may also be used to improve your Wi-Fi reception, the task between your Chromecast and your TV. So. I'm not going to use it because it kind of just dangles off the side. So I'm going to go ahead and you take your little uh, Chromecast dongle there, find your HDMI port on your TV, you plug it in, then you take your power cable, and I have a USB port right here, so I'll just plug it in there and plug the other end into the Chromecast. There. All right. Now I'll go ahead and turn the TV on and get that thing ready to set up. All right. Now we're back here at the uh, TV. Now we're going to go ahead and run through the setup menu. So you got to switch the input on your TV to the uh, input that the Chromecast is in, and HDMI too. Give it a second here. All right. Um, it will get this uh, set up. Set me up a uh, prompt here, so you need to go to your laptop now and go to that browser or that uh, web address, and I'll be right back when I go to that. 
All right, so now I'm on to on my uh, laptop, on my Google Chrome browser. Now I'm going to go to the URL that they gave us, google.com slash Chromecast, Chromecast slash setup. Make sure that's correct. There we go. Now this should give us a... Uh, settings to go through all right download the app okay all right add the add the cast ex extension this is for your uh your browsers the app is for your android phones or tablets which i'll do that on my phone a little bit later i have an android phone so i can do that add the extension add all right and there it is now casting Okay, now I should. All right, now the problem was before why I wasn't saying I had any devices was because my you have to make sure you have your laptop connected to the exact same wireless network that your Chromecast is on, and my laptop was connected to a different router. I have multiple. I have a couple routers I used uh, for different stuff, but. Um, make sure that you have to make sure it's connected to the exact same wireless network, like the exact same uh, um, router as your Chromecast, or else it won't recognize the device. So I, I went ahead and changed my network, and I came up. It, ha it does have my new uh, my Chromecast on as game room. Now what I can do with this is you won't be able to see it on my TV, but I can go to like YouTube. Or whatever. Let's, let's see what the newest video we got here is. Oh, let's see Nanners. I'm just too short. What the heck? I'll cast this. Now you see this little Chromecast button here. <laughs> Pause that for now. If you hit the Chromecast button and you can select uh, um, Game Room. And if you won't be able to see this now, but it'll actually come up on your TV, which is really cool. I really do like that because before what I had to do is I had uh, I had multiple uh, HDMI cables I had to pull out and plug into my laptop and stuff, but uh, now I can just go choose the uh, go ahead and turn, turn this off here. I can go ahead and just um, click the Chromecast button on my laptop and it'll just show up on my TV. I don't even need to run any different uh, uh, HDMI cables, don't need a, any extra wires running around here. I have enough wires running around here the way it is, but you know what? For uh, kind of my last thoughts on it, for thirty-five dollars, you get a lot. You before you'd have to pay a couple hundred bucks or something like this, but now it's thirty-five dollars. You can go to anywhere, pick it up. It's pretty, that's pretty cheap. But uh, you know, it's it's really powerful. You can do a lot of stuff. You can run it from your phone. You can do it mobily. You can run like run your Netflix app or your Hulu Plus app or your HBO Go app, and you can push your uh, videos up onto the bigger screen you have and uh, it's pretty awesome technology so uh, if you ever get a chance to pick one up I would suggest that you do uh, so thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe and uh, check out my other videos and have a good day